Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about LibreOffice Calc, what it is, uh, and what you can use it for. So, the short answer is, if you know Microsoft Office, there's a program in Microsoft Office called Excel, and LibreOffice Calc is like the free Office Suite uh, alternative to Microsoft Excel. Now, the long answer uh, starts that it is a spreadsheet management tool. So you can see uh, on screen, we have something that looks a lot like a table. We have all of these different columns going from top to bottom, A, B, C, D, uh, can go up to Z and beyond, but rarely you would need to go that far. And it can continue down with rows pretty much indefinitely. So whenever those rows and columns intersect, you have a what's called a cell. So if you know what a table looks like and table terminology is the same kind of thing there because really all a spreadsheet is is a giant table with essentially endless cells, rows, and columns for you to use in organizing data. So if you're trying to do something like uh, or organize your data in a certain fashion, LibreOffice Calc is going to be far more useful to you than a tool like LibreOffice Writer or the alternative to that Microsoft Word, uh, probably the number one program that people using Office software have ever heard of Microsoft Word. Um, so how it works is that uh, you either import data from elsewhere or you start typing stuff in, and uh, generally it would look something like this. So we have the first row at the top, and often you would use that for titles. So maybe we have the name of a product, okay, the price of a product, the date it was purchased, uh, the vendor we purchased it from, uh, let's see, yeah, maybe that's good enough. And then uh, down here on each of the following rows, we can do things like start typing in the information that corresponds to that. So each entry might become a new row. Now, of course, you can flip it. You could do the, uh, the labels over here in column A and have the items go over to the right instead. But... Uh, we'll just do it this way. So the first item is going to be an orange. It costs a dollar. The date was today, so 4-26-2017, and we purchased the apple from Amazon Fresh, I guess. Uh, and then we have, let's say, an apple. The price is two. Uh, date the same. And you can see uh, when you do put in a date, it automatically changes things a little bit. I didn't type that zero for the zero four month for April, but uh, it was automatically formatted in a certain way. Uh, and speaking of that, you can change how columns are formatted. So here we have the price column. It's measured, it, it, right now it only has a number in it, but we can change that to actually be a price. Uh, so we'll measure it in US dollars. I'm gonna select these uh, cells over here, and I think you could just, actually we can just uh, select the whole column at once. That's probably a better way to do it. And then if we go over here, we can choose things like format as a percent, format as a number, format as a date, or format as a currency, which I'm going to click on this drop down here. Hopefully it seems to be uh, lagging a little bit. So let's just scroll down and find US dollars. Maybe we can type it in, oh, whoops. Uh, I had it right there. Okay, US dollars, English. And you can see it's formatted it, although all I typed in the field was a one, it's out of the dollar sign the period and the two decimal positions that you would use for indicating US dollar currency. Great. Um, likewise, it's also possible to change how your dates are structured. Uh, for these titles up here at the top, I'm going to select them all and hit Control B, which allows me to just kind of visually indicate that those are header titles uh, rather than the actual data in the field. Um, so let's see. The vendor this time will be Kroger, it's an American store. Uh, let's see, some other items, milk, just really quick here. Uh, in some cases you might be importing data from elsewhere, like loading CSV files into LibreOffice Calc. Uh, these kinds of tools, LibreOffice Calc or Microsoft Excel are good tools for opening up CSV files uh, because often the data is going to be kind of formatted as a table anyway. Okay, uh, let's actually change the date here. So let's say that was days ago and Amazon again. And then one more item. So uh, cucumber, why not? 
and it's the most expensive cucumber ever. Uh, you can see, uh, although I did put in a dollar sign, it just kind of automatically converts the field. It doesn't add a second dollar sign. It just kind of extracts the number and then formats it as it should be. So let's change the date one more time. And this time we will uh, change the year as well. So 2016 and Kroger again. Now we can start talking about some of the magic of having your stuff organized as a table. So you think of a table and it's like, well, it's nice to have all this information showing in a relatively organized manner, but these dates aren't organized. Like the, the first date is at the last item and these prices, um, well here it actually is organized, but that's just by chance, are, or alphabetical names. So how can we organize this table? Well, if I select these fields, and we go up to, uh, da, 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 uh, okay, date, uh, data. And there's multiple ways to do this, of course. But we can do sort descending. So look at it right now. And now let's sort this descending. Okay, the cells next to the current selection also contain data. Do you want to extend the range or do you want to, uh, or just sort this currently selected range? So what that's saying is, do you want to sort these other items, basically treating the orange and everything to the right as one thing? And I think we do. So by doing that, it's now, uh, okay, well, I think what happened was it actually uh, sorted over here on the right by, by the vendor name. Let's actually try that one more time. I think it was actually going there. That wasn't what we wanted. So sort descending current selection. Wait, O, N, O. No, no, no. My bad, guys. Um, I was wrong. I just forgot which way, which direction's ascending and which one's not. Okay, so we want sort ascending, extend current selection, apple, cucumber, milk, orange, and uh, the price isn't sorted because we're sorting by the name of these columns here. We could change that to the price sorting really easily. Uh, but this, this other information, it stays corresponding with what we have over on the left. So by doing this, you keep the data pieced together. And if you've ever used a database, you know that this looks an awful lot like that. So really, your Excel or your LibreOffice Calc spreadsheets are just database files that don't really have any extra tools attached to it. It's just a file you save on your computer. Um, now, in some cases, that's fine. I'm sure there's a way to actually turn it into a database, uh, export it into different formats, and load up into things like MySQL. Uh, way beyond the scope of this video. Um, but yeah, you can organize your data. So let's sort by price this time. So I want to sort descending by price, extend the current selection, which means the highest price is first. All the other data corresponds with that. Now, uh, beyond just sorting your data, you can actually take your data and put it into different charts. So insert chart. We're going to try to insert a chart off, off of this data. And... Um, yeah, let's see if we can get this right. So something like a pie chart. Okay, and of, of course you're gonna need to kind of play around with this. So obviously that's by price right there, which is fine. So data series and columns. Yeah, that's right. Next, um, column D, range for border color, name. Range for name, uh, price, I think that's what we're looking at. Okay, so share of price spent. Okay, and I'll hit finish here. Um, obviously, that's not a great chart right there. Um, and you would have to play around with the settings a little bit more there. This is kind of off the cuff. Uh, but by taking this data, you can convert it into charts. And these charts you can also put into other things like LibreOffice Writer. So the data you have in Calc can be used for charts, and those charts can be used for presentations, they can be used in printed out documents, or you can just keep them stored straight inside of these LibreOffice calc sheets. So uh, managing and uh, sorting your data in calc used for other Office applications, and that's kind of where it starts to become pretty useful for you guys. So uh, in this particular chart, if I was going to actually publish this, I probably want to go back in here uh, and make sure that it, this is labeled. Uh, maybe I have dollar signs. Maybe 
uh, on this legend also have it uh, attached to the actual dollar sign value, or at least in the uh, in, in like these sections over here have the price in dollars show up, or that kind of thing. Those are all uh, changes you can make to your charts inside of LibreOffice Calc. Uh, but we will leave it there, I think. Uh, just kind of introducing the tool for you guys, LibreOffice Calc. If you like tables, then this is the tool for you. Um, and once again, of course, comparing it to uh, Microsoft Excel, LibreOffice is the free Office software uh, kind of competitor to Microsoft Office. I think they're both really good. Just opinion me. In any case, I've been Chris. Thank you guys for watching, and I will hopefully see you in my future video content.